Hey guys, welcome to a full playthrough of Tunic. We'll be starting a new game. This game was released uh, fairly recently. It takes inspiration from uh, from a few different other games, which uh, will probably become obvious as we go along. Uh, we play this little character, a little fox. Uh, he looks kind of a little bit like Zelda with his green coat. Now uh, we'll be heading up the stairs. Um, if you press the, uh, the A button, you roll. If you hold it, you will actually run, so you'll be able to get around a little bit quicker. Um, there's a mailbox there, which uh, we can't open. No letters for us at the moment. Just heading uh, inside this room for the first chest. And inside the chest, we find a stick. So there's a language that we don't understand. Um, and the entire manual is, is written kind of like that. Uh, most of it we won't be able to know what they're saying, but so we can figure things out as we go along. And we will be getting a, a better weapon soon, but the stick is going to help us out, at least in the beginning. Um, I will be taking out some of these enemies and just getting the extra gold coins. Um, I do want to be leveling up fairly quickly, just to make life a bit easier. Just over here to the right, we've got the hero's grave. We do need a, a key to open that door. Uh, there are lots of secrets. You can hold the left trigger, um, which helps you to focus on enemies. Uh, but it also changes the view a little bit. Sometimes you can see hidden, uh, hidden treasures, chests, and things like that, just around the corners. All right, it's getting a few, uh, a few gold coins here. I've got thirty. So the town is over in that direction. We'll be heading up here to the first bonfire. Now this is where we can save the game. It acts just like a little checkpoint. And before we go any further, I'll head up here to the temple. Uh, let's open these giant golden doors. So just running along this walkway, uh, we seem to be in uh, spirit form. Another set of doors here, so I'm just going to interact with the giant shooting forks. And then just running along out into the open sky, eventually we'll come across uh, Mama Fox trapped inside this uh, this cube. Well, it's not a cube, is it? This uh, hexagon. Okay, back out here in the land of the living. I am going to pick up just something for the upgrade. So you can come here behind the waterfall. Uh, this is where we will be going in the next video, in the next episode. But for now, I just want to head up here to this chest. And I'm going to pick up the tooth. Uh, this is used for upgrading your attack. And that is really, really going to help out for some of these early, early fights. Um, just across here, we're going to find the key. Uh, so let's grab that. Um, down here, we've got a telescope, so we can 
check out the land, see, see what we have to deal with next. Okay, so coming back down here. Uh, let's head through here. The door leading to the hero's grave. So this will take us to the, uh, the first page of the manual. First two pages. Beginning your adventure. So we need to ring the east bell, go to the east forest, visit the hero's grave and defeat the captain. Uh, and then we need to ring the west bell as well. And that has something to do with the, uh, the golden doors. Uh, page 11. A little bit of information about the game screen. The health, stamina and magic. We don't have ma uh, magic at the moment. Uh, when stamina reduces to zero, you run out of... Uh, well, you take more damage. Uh, you still can attack. Uh, this chest has already been opened. I think there might be one down here. Nope, nothing else down here at the moment. Ah, uh, wait a minute. No, I can't get through there because of the bushes. Okay, so we'll head up the stairs here. Ah, uh, yeah, there is a path through these trees. Um, this will give us one of these, looks like a ceramic fox head or something, or a hat. So if I just go and uh, equip that, uh, and then use it, that's going to give me um, two extra gold coins. Okay, so the only path we can take up here is the path leading to the East Forest. A few more gold coins here. And another page of the manual. Uh, this one gives us the controls. Uh, right triggers the shield, we don't have that, we don't have the health potions either, and uh, we will be getting a sword fairly soon. Uh, and then we've got the, uh, the A for roll, which we already know about, then there's a special movement uh, roll and attack. So we'll get to that once we get the sword. Uh, we'll be coming down up here um, once we ring the bell. So if you just have a look, the uh, the bell it's just up there. But we need to find another way there. So just dropping down to the next checkpoint. This chest has been opened as well. 107, okay, so we're looking good. I can actually upgrade now. Uh, the manual will tell you how to do it, but um, if you're here and you're just exploring, you press the, uh, the left button. Um, now we can offer 100 gold. Use the dragon tooth to upgrade something. It doesn't tell you what it is, but... Once you upgrade, you'll see that your attack is plus one. In our attack level two, um, that's going to make a big difference in these uh, these little boss fights here, or these little uh, little fights and uh, early boss fights. Mm, 
Oh, we're taking too much damage there. Um, there's nothing we can do there at the moment. Uh, we can head inside uh, this little garden. This path leads... Actually, it's not here. There is a path leading down to the lower forest, which we'll get to later. For now, let's just grab the chest. Extra gold. Take a look at the east forest. There is no map for the east forest, unfortunately. As far as I'm aware, anyway. So we can actually head out this way, grab another chest. This one has a little berry for us. Um, I believe that's it. So just coming out here to the next checkpoint. Grave, okay. Um, yeah, this is Guardhouse 1, so we'll come around a different way because uh, we can't get up at the moment. Let's grab the next page. Target lock, left trigger, uh, then we can attack and uh, lock. Invulnerability is the first part of the roll. Okay, so we're going to deal with these guys later, once I have a weapon. Now this is the second guardhouse, uh, which we can't get very far in at the moment. So let's continue heading towards the hero's grave. Things hit hard. Uh, okay, let's go back and uh, get my health back because I'm not going to get very far like this. They hit hard, don't they? Right, this thing's following me out. Stay alive here. So just one one hit and then dodging out of the way. That will eventually kill this guy. Okay. You can dodge around him as well, but he will chase you uh, the whole way around. So just heading up here, down the ladder, and we're going to lift up this lever to open the gate. Uh, this takes us up to the, uh, the hero's grave. We're going to pick up the sword. So we actually have a... a a proper weapon now. Let's use that instead of the stick. Here lies the hero. Uh, so we can use this to clear out the bushes. Does a lot more damage as well to uh, enemies. So just a few more gold coins there. Just 
breaking these bushes here for a little secret. There's a chest if I can get through. Um, okay, for some reason I can't... Oh, there we go. It's a little bit higher up than I thought. So, inside guard tower number two. Uh, the path down leads to the lower forest. Um, I just want to grab the bombs though, the fire bombs. Uh, let's clear that out, I think. I think we'll go down to the lower forest first few ways that we can do this. But uh, I got some help from the back. Um, and we are going to grab the bomb here. Actually, I don't need to kill this guy. I can just run past him, but let's uh, let's do that. See how he likes that. Ooh. Um, that fire should... That fire should kill him. As long as we stay out of the way of his spear. Uh, we don't actually need to kill this guy, but we get some uh, some extra coins for doing it. Oh, I'm being attacked by someone as well. Is he going to follow me off the screen? I don't think so. Uh, let's just run down here for the next chest. Okay, some more fire bombs. Just trying to remember what's in this chest up here and whether I want to grab it now. I think I will grab it now. So just clearing out the bushes in front. Uh, let's open this up. Uh, it's just gold coins, right. So the ladder up leads to the the first boss fight. It's a fairly easy boss fight. Um, so we are going to explore the lower forest first. Just heading inside guard tower number two. Guardhouse 2. Heading down the ladder. Actually, I probably should have gone back to get the, um, the first health bottle. Uh, but I think I'll be fine. I'm just heading behind uh, this, this counter here, behind the pillars, heading across to the right. And we've got uh, another chest, let's open this up. And inside I've got a, uh, a bottle of something. And uh, down into the lower forest. We can't grapple across at the moment, we don't have the equipment, but there's a chest that we'll have to come back for. Uh, otherwise up here. A couple of guards. I'm um, actually gonna go down... Let's have a look. Yeah, there's a path down here secret path. These spiders will slowly follow me down. Uh, but while I'm waiting for them, let's go and check out this chest. The gold coin. Nice. Okay, that's two. A few more spiders. Take... Oh, I... 
threw that bomb into the into the water. That's not good. It's not what I wanted to do. Because these spiders are difficult to deal with. Okay, one more. Okay, that'll do. Whew. Okay, let's head on up. There is another chest up here. Ah, oh, this one has some dynamite. Do you hear another spider? Ah, uh, there's a slime up there with another chest. Uh, we will need some uh, different equipment to get up there. So I will have to leave that one for now as well. Uh, I don't think there's anything else down here. Just trying to think if I missed anything. If I have missed something and I remember, then I will come back for it. Uh, I think that's everything though. Yeah, so this path leads back out to where we were before, the East Forest. Uh, now, before we go for this boss fight, uh, let me... Uh, no, it's not this... It's not there. Um, no, it's actually back above that ladder. It's where I want to go. So I will have to go around. That is fine. So let's head down here. Heading up this ladder, taking out the two, uh, two guards. Um, yeah, if you press roll and uh, sword attack, you will do that. Uh, it doesn't always work for me. Um, but it doesn't seem to... doesn't seem to work when I'm actually in combat. Oh no, there it did work. I would like to do it when I'm... Um, focusing in on someone, so I will try to get that working next time for the next battle. For now, let's open this uh, gate down below. And uh, this takes us to Guardhouse 1. There is a chest over here. Uh, and another chest on this side. Just with a, uh, a, a, a part of a healing bottle. Okay, we're going to open this. Out that ladder, so I will explore that later. For now, let's let's go and take on the the first boss. Take that. So pretty easy with the fire bomb. So this is actually the uh, first uh, healing bottle. Now press right button to um, to drink it. When you go to a checkpoint, all of your healing bottles will refill. Um, just up here, I don't think there's anything in these barrels. So following this corridor down to the East Bell. Okay, 
Okay, so it's just down these stairs here for a chest. And I'm gonna let this rope down. Um, I'm just wondering what's the easiest way back to the guard tower. I think I'll go back this way. I do want to explore the other side of the guard tower. Okay, so now heading down this ladder. Uh, we can come up on the other side. Uh, I'm taking this exit out here. Leads to a secret area, I think, in the garden, in the forest. Uh, there we have the second healing bottle. Uh, so that's nice. I don't think there's anything else here. So now just heading down the ladder, coming out this exit. Um, we should be able to use the uh, the sword to... Uh, wait a minute, how do I... No, I do need to take a different uh, exit, actually. Because uh, we can't get back this way. Yeah, so I will need to take the top exit. That was a bit of a... Could have done this earlier. Uh, because we can't get back out the way we came down. So clearing out these bushes, going through just a secret pathway here. And here we have a chest. Um, inside we have um, upgrade material for your, your defense. Um, just up here there's nothing, but we can have a little look at uh, what's going on. So some kind of pillar there. And we'll be back around the other side later on in the game. Let's head on down here. Should have plenty of gold coins, 451 gold coins at the moment, so that's pretty nice. Um, and now we can use the sword to clear out some of these pathways that we haven't uh, cleared out uh, before. Uh, so let's clear this out, take out these slimes, and I do want to grab this page. Um, this is a map which is nice, and then we have the map for Under the Well, and that gives you a clue as to where we're going next. Under the Well, um, tip, uh, blocking tax, okay. And the map actually tells you where you are. You can see uh, our little fox face here. So that's a good clue as to um, yeah how to get around. The map isn't so great at telling you where the secrets are and things like that, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a decent decent map anyway. It has all the basics on there. Let's just clear this out. And I'm gonna open this. Let's pull this lever. And that will give us a, a nice 
ladder down um, back to the first checkpoint. So let's save the game here and we'll be back for the other uh, well next time. Actually, one more thing I do want to do um, is that is uh, we're going to use the uh, material here, offer this, and increase our defense to level two. So that will make us a little bit harder to kill next time we come back. Oh, potion two. Okay, that increases your potion, not the defense. Okay, we haven't got the material for defense um, just yet, but that has um, increased the amount of the potions heal. Uh, so that will help keep us alive for a little bit longer as well.